Hi, this is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions. On today's Tech Tip Tuesday, I want to show you how to make this uh, little wall that's going all the way to the ceiling, uh, two walls, as, as this uh, room here in the corner, uh, not be a full height wall. So let's get started. Hey, thanks so much for watching my Tech Tip Tuesday videos. Would you consider supporting me on my Patreon channel, patreon.com slash designbuildsolutions. For sharing the price of a cup of coffee, that will help keep this information going. If you need more help with some of your plans, some of your models, you can select tiers for that as well. Thanks for your consideration. Now, let's get started into today's tip. Uh, so, we've, as I said, we've got this situation here where the... Uh, room is and the walls are taller than we really want them to be I need this to come down and we're gonna have this uh, countertop go out over on top of the wall I'm gonna select this wall type this room I should say and command E for um, or control E if you're on a PC all right so we're gonna do a structure and we'll leave a flat uh, ceiling over this room but I'm going to use a shelf ceiling and this ceiling is going to be at 30 inches tall we use this option here for shelf ceiling right there is what we want uh, to show to check on all right so and then set the 30 inch tall height now we've got some uh, interesting things going on um, let's double check and make sure that the floor is at the right height floor ceiling that's good I'm not sure what this is for this is this is always from um, I'm trying to help someone else fix their model. So that's that. And then this is going to go down here. Let's take a section view of this. And let's do some quick measurements. I'm just going to hit the W key on my keyboard to draw a line and we'll see how tall that line is. That's 30 inches, okay. And then we've got a ceiling of six inches. That's what the issue is. So let's um, let's select this and make this 30 inches tall. Floor to bottom will be zero. That's the that's the opening. And let's go back into plan view and select this. Now, notice quickly here, when I, when I uh, selected at first, it selected the section camera. So I'm going to hit Tab key on my keyboard and Command E again. Now this structure, the ceiling structure, we're going to make that just uh, one and a half inches. Whoops. You know what, let's do it three quarter inches. Because we can just put a three-quarter inch plywood on top of that and finish that with um, with you know with with the countertop. Notice I've got 30-inch ceiling and then the three-quarter inch ceiling uh, structure right there, and that will fix our yes, that'll fix that right there. Let's go back to our elevation. Now this, um, you can see, we, I don't want to see the OSB, I want to see drywall. So I'm going to select this wall here and just pull this up like that. And that's fine. We're going to take a section in the other direction. And do the same with the brick facade. Pull that up. 
lastly, let's um, select this uh, count this cabinet and create a custom countertop. We'll pull this over like so and bring that forward. I'm going to bring that forward one inch. And now it looks fine on the inside. And on the outside, you can slide your recycling in and out of that space very quickly. I hope this has been helpful uh, for you, this tip. If you uh, like these tips, would you, again, consider supporting this on my Patreon channel uh, at patreon.com slash design build solutions. If you also like it, would you leave the encouragement, drop a thumbs up. As always, hit subscribe and that notification bell so you too can um, get notified each time I upload these videos. Check out my website, www.designbuildsolutionsllc.com for how I can help you as well. Thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful week.